We talked about maybe trying to get some arcade machines from uh, Ruby's because there's gonna, be, gonna be nobody there since it's burning down. So we'll see about that. It's something people can do when they're not actually on their channel or game or something. Um, but we always have a con suite where people can go relax, get some food or drink if they need a break from the noise of everything. Um, and we always run some geek movies in there. I talked to the uh, events coordinator from uh, Anime Club. They're talking about helping us out with like uh, cosplay contests and stuff, but also. Um, one of, uh, he's also part of like a uh, small uh, film studio thing, uh, studio. and we talked about maybe getting them and we could run their stuff in the uh, karaoke, we also did that, and then this was, I don't know how many years we did it, but it was on the schedule that I was basing this on, manga prom. So you can come in your cosplay or not, but then it's like it's supposed to be that stereotypical like manga anime thing. Oh, okay. And just something fun to see. Yeah. You know, something okay. like just chill. You know, we all we're still deciding on names because sometimes you get confused with it just manga from. Yeah. So definitely coming. You know, getting a list of what things are. Um, Halo Infinite, Tekken. Uh, and League of Legends for Friday night. Um, again, three panel rooms for clubs and stuff. Yu-Gi-Oh, Magic, Pokemon, Warhammer. Uh, we also have two LARPs. Okay. We have a day LARP, which is like boppers and hitting people's swords, and a night LARP, which usually is uh, Call of Duty, okay. both run by the same guy. Uh, yeah. Uh, Lego display because I know there's usually a lot of young people going on. And also, Dr. Tim Miller said he'd try to make it out there if we have it, and he has an entire room in his basement apparently he devoted to Lego. So, that'd be cool. Um, yeah, uh, Quid oh, Quidditch is going to be Because they, they've done those for a couple years, yeah. Um, our Pathfinder Society. Just, you know, all sorts of video games. Mario Kart, Guilty Gear. Um, yeah, more Magic Dominion. Anything we can think of, we probably still have space in it. We just need the people to run it. Norcana? It's a Disney version of Magic. Slightly easier. I have not. So I'm going to write that on my list of things to investigate tonight. Uh, okay. Yeah, it's just I, like, I, I heard it, but I, I don't know it. Okay. It's the same thing as Magic, just it's Disney characters. And yeah, I, I personally find it easier because I tried to play Magic, could not get into War it. But Lortana, I only play because of my brother, so yeah. Wartana? I will say, as someone who loves Commander to death, okay. Wartana is a better design game. Okay. <laughs> I love it. Okay, after they nerfed the cards, because originally the, the meta deck was to make you dump your whole hand in Paris. Because they. they it was a no. Huh? It was like a mill? Uh, no, it was this card. Or that, that same yeah. sort of thing. Uh, they printed the card that said when it's tapped, whenever your opponent draws a card, you draw a card, and you play on turn two. Yeah, uh, Diablo. Yeah. Yeah, Diablo. But they nerfed it. There was originally another card that said whenever you play a certain type of card, the opponent discards a card. So then you play all the cheap ones, and then just and it just burns their hand through. But that, that, that deck's gone now. I, they okay, that I have only... Uh, the only Disney card game I've played is uh, Villainous. I love which, Oh, dude, I have a friend that um, during our musical each year, he would always bring it and he would bring every single one of his expansions so we could sit there with like 10 people and just play Good. Games. I was that guy during oh, Greece. Yeah. I was that guy. Uh, Except for the only time we, w we stopped doing it is before a show uh, was when the red expansion oh. came out, the, the Cruella one. Yeah. Oh, okay, um, yeah. And my friend tried Gotham for the first time. He's like, my head hurts. Oh, I just stopped. <laughs> no, he... I want to say oh, when we played the... Uh, uh, what's the villain from the first uh, uh, Incredibles movie? Oh, it's okay. Yeah, when, when he came out, I think that's about when we were playing. Gotcha. Uh, yeah, I remember trying to wrap my head around it because it was different from everything I'd played so much with that. Lorcano's easier than Villains. Okay. And I would say they fixed the mana system. Okay. Because the way the mana system in that game works is every card can be... There's cards with circles on the top. Like, all your cards have either a circle or a hexagon. Once per turn, you can choose a card with a circle, and it becomes your land right there. So you can choose, okay, what cards do I need to fill out my curve? I think I can risk inking this as my land right there. Okay, that makes sense. And then the high power cards are uninkable. Okay. Because, um... Oh. Yep.
other yeah. things with it, they do done differently. Is you can only attack, you can attack creatures like a can or something, but only if they're tapped. Okay. So, and then you can tap to you can tap to gain a resource, and the first of twenty wins. Okay. So then, do I want to risk questing here to gain re resource to try to beat your foe? If I do, they can maybe swing back, and kill the thing, and then go into theirs. And you can also there's certain parts called songs, which if you have a character that costs the same as the song, you can tap to free cast the song. Uh, which is really good, except that they printed one this Wheel of Fortune. And that card's uh, kind of broken. <laughs> See, he knew. Caitlin. Whole New World. Yeah. Yeah, that card's broken. <laughs> <laughs> that free cost Wheel of Fortune is kind of stupid. That, yeah. Mmm. <laughs> ah! Yeah, dude, that sounds amazing. I'd totally try it. Um, the first well, spell you need to do is one day. Rat two of them. I'm going to be in Maryland. That's right. Oh, sorry. MRDs. MRDs. You gotta you love it. Yeah, she, it she, oh. play, she plays an aggro deck. She plays okay. an aggro. I play a weird combo deck where they made a character where you can essentially you tap him, you name uh, you name a card, you flip the top card of your deck over. If you're correct, you draw the card and gain your resources. Oh, okay. Uh, so I built the deck around always knowing which one. And rearranging it, and then all the spells no, are I untapped target characters. So then I can just keep guessing the right card on top and untapping him over and over again. Because most of the cards say you can't quest again. The questing is how you gain resources. But his is often activated ability, so it doesn't count. So I can just keep chaining them together and gain like 18 in one turn and just win the game out of nowhere. <laughs> but yeah, um, so yeah, scientific community Discord, I can get you in there. And we do events all the time, so again, it's not just Monday. Yeah. Again, I know I'm busy, 